All right. I've got a special treat for all of you who are just like me, who likes to sleep with your uh, tinfoil hats on. And uh, before you watch a show, you should probably pause the video and get your tinfoil hat on. This is important stuff. That means you, Sam. Get your tinfoil hat on. You too, Alice. <laughs> this show is coming to you hot off the press from Distro Hunt. This went up yesterday in the Debian section. And today, we are looking at Kadashi. Okay, now, um, what Kadashi here is, is a distribution meant for uh, using the internet anonymously. And there are a bunch of tools uh, included with this, most of which I don't really know what they do. But uh, basically, um, it allows you to surf the internet behind a VPN and Tor and a bunch of other things, okay? And uh, so, and this has, has a number of benefits for uh, people and that sort of thing. You can see uh, over here, uh, right next to me, is a gauge here that is uh, telling me uh, about the VPN traffic, how much CPU, memory swap, and disk this is using. Now, uh, something I'd like to mention, usually when I'm covering um, a distribution in one of these episodes, I actually install it uh, to my... Um, SSD drive so that I can present it, but t in today's case, this distro is meant to be run from a live image, and so that's actually how I'm running it. I did not even install this, uh, but they do have an installer readily available for you. So I'm actually running this in a virtual machine from the live image, and I'm ready to go ahead and put this to the test. I had a chance to look at this a little bit yesterday. Um, and I'm not going to be able to do an exhaustive analysis on this distribution, but hopefully this will have enough information to allow you to make an informed decision, decide whether or not to download this. So, uh, but from what I can see here, this is looking pretty darn good here. All right. So, uh, for the first thing you're going to notice is that you have Conky on the screen and a bunch of, uh, information, uh, that is up right now. Um, and I love how this is set up here. All right, so basically it's telling you where it is uh, connecting to for the VPN. All right, um, and uh, before I started the recording, this said that uh, it was connecting me to France. So apparently it looks like uh, Kadashi is providing its own VPN service here. Um, which I think is really cool. All right, and there's a bunch of other little... Uh, information's going on here uh, telling you how uh, that this is uh, protecting you, okay? All right, um, let's take a look at what's on the bottom panel here. It looks like there's a number of things. You can show your desktop. There's an application finder, and then they have a series of web browsers you can choose from. Uh, let's go ahead and open one up. Uh, why not try uh, Firefox? And this is a the Firefox Direct VPN browser. Now, um, understandably, whenever you are hiding behind a virtual private network, okay, um, or you're using Tor services and that sort of thing, okay, I noticed something here now. Uh, it looks like we have a list of IPs and that sort of thing. Apparently, uh, since this is using Tor, um, I'm jumping through a bunch of different IP addresses, hiding my traffic. Um, now, obviously, you want to do something like this if you, you know, want to maybe uh, have secure, uh, on, you know, do secure online banking and that sort of thing. Personally, um, when I'm using public Wi-Fi hotspots, I use private internet access VPN, and that works perfectly for me, having a secure tunnel. Um, this is a little overkill for a number of you guys out there, and there are legitimate reasons for wanting to use a distribution like this. So, you know, I'm glad that we have these available to us. Um, but this tinfoil is driving me nuts, so I'm taking it off. <laughs> okay, let's continue on here. Um, let's uh, find out what is my IP.
All right, and... All right, and it's telling me that I am in France right now. Okay, so this is clearly doing its job. And the nice thing about this is when you're done surfing the internet or doing whatever it is that you are doing, you know, uh, apparently because you're using a live image, you're not having all this stuff uh, remaining in memory. So cool stuff indeed. So out of the box, this is already doing the job that it's promised. All right, cool stuff indeed. Um, let's see what else we get with this. All right, so we've got a few browsers to choose from. Uh, it looks like they also have a Tor browser, and I guess the Firefox is just using a VPN. Yep, this is using a VPN, but they have a Tor browser as well. Now, I imagine the Tor browsers are going to be quite a bit slower than using a VPN. Just something to keep in mind here. Um, all right, let's see what else we have. Okay, and it looks like they have a bunch of different VPN tools available to you as well. My favorite is personal internet access, but it looks like Kadashi has its own VPN service. Awesome sauce. This is pretty cool stuff indeed. All right, and then they have uh, other options available to you. What these do... I really haven't had a chance to experiment with all of these, and maybe this is something I can look at at a later time should I ever decide to uh, put that tinfoil hat I just threw away back on, right? <laughs> all right, let's see what else we have here. Okay, it looks like you have uh, tour tools and exit country here. So let's say uh, you want to be watching some uh, videos off the BBC, um, maybe using uh, this uh, UK um, exit here would allow you to be able to uh, watch those broadcasts in country restricted uh, viewing localities. So that's one reason why you would want to do that. All right, uh, let's see what else we have here. Uh, we have domain name server tools available here. You have a bunch of security apps, so if you need to uh, have encryption and that sort of thing, you have that there. And, if, and some of these tools are really handy uh, if you were to have this installed on your system. Like, for instance, I use BleachBit myself. I love this utility. It's uh, Linux's answer to uh, crap cleaner or C cleaner in Windows, which does an excellent job of cleaning out your system. And uh, I use this program just about every day on my Manjaro box. So um, good stuff thrown in here as well. Uh, let's see what else is included. Okay, um, looks like uh, they have uh, a bunch of other little tools here. Um, what the, okay, they've got a secure shell tool, uh, GNU net. Um, all right, cool stuff. LibreOffice. Now, why would they include that in here unless you uh, <laughs> need to write some secret documents? Okay, it's included. All right. Um, all right, a bunch of other really cool tools. So um, let's say you want to uh, securely transfer uh, your stuff to your file server using FileZilla. You know, you can do that here. Um, and a bunch of other tools. Uh, that's a surprise to see OpenShot included with this. Okay. Uh, transmission for BitTorrent is in here. All right. Um, the standard complement of utilities that you would expect to see with any Linux distribution, uh, such as um, a package manager, um, a partition editor. All right. Open up your zip files and that sort of thing. All that's included in here. Cool stuff. And it looks like we have a panic room here. All right, and uh, I'm guessing some of these would be if you were to actually have this uh, operating system installed because it does give you an option to install drivers. I imagine you could install them temporarily, too, for um, having them there. Uh, they have a RAM wiping tool so that you can clear up your uh, tracks for whatever activities you were just doing, and I'm hoping you were using this for legal reasons, not trolling somebody. <laughs> Yeah, you don't want to use software like this for that. Uh, although it could be easily abused that way. All right, so free up that RAM. Um, you have a Kadashi auto login. 
uh, IPv6 tools. Okay, cool stuff. So this is uh, quite comprehensive compared to other security-related uh, distros that I have seen in the past. All right. Um, security evaluation. Learn how to increase your security score. Why don't I click on this and see what we get here? Uh, maybe uh, if I minimize uh, this window here, I can read a little bit better. Okay. It says, uh, running in live mode, uh, plus 10, uh, user auto login off, plus 10, IPv6 off, plus 10. Okay, um, Kadashi browser is on, plus 10, system Tor 5, plus 40. Why? Because system Tor 5, plus 20, blah, 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 blah. Press any key to start the test. Okay. Boom. Okay. Is Kadashi installed? I'll be very interested to see what this has to say once uh, this shell script is finished running. Okay, so just using the live medium as it is, it's given me a score of 65 over 100. Okay? And it looks like these items here that are in orange are the items that I would need to work on. For instance, I'm not using Tor right now, okay? Um, is all internet traffic forced via VPN by IP? Okay, so there's a number of things uh, that I would have to work on to be able to get a better score. But just thinking about what we do have um it's a lot better than if you were to be using the internet without any protection at all so um yeah all right let's see what this shield down here is this is uh to uh, support kadashi so if you feel uh this is something that has been a benefit to you uh definitely support them it would definitely be worth your time uh so from what i'm seeing here this looks quite amazing. Um, and most of these applications are listed in the menus as well here. We went to the menu at the bottom. I, I like how this is laid out. This is beautiful. Um, but they have them here for those of you who want to maybe get rid of the dock. Okay. Good stuff indeed. Um, this looks cool. Uh, if you think this is something you would like to use, why don't you visit the link in the description, download a copy, and try this out for yourself. I'm not sure what I'm going to be covering next on Cup of Linux, but I'm sure I will have something equally exciting. So until we meet next time, take a little bit of your time today and be excellent with someone. Peace out. Mm -hmm.